All right, it's working this time. Last time I tried it got stuck on two and it gave me a countdown. And anyways, beyond that, I saw Will did an update and Josh has been doing updates and here I am sitting with uh, twi twiddling fingers. I don't know. Anyways, here's my update. Welcome back. And to Will, I what a weird coincidence. I too got a new bed. Um, mine's probably not as good and, and fantastic as yours, and definitely doesn't take as much room in the room as yours. Uh, it's just a full, but I did get it for 50 bucks. I got it, uh, we needed a, a better bed, and we didn't have a box spring. So my sister-in-law let me know that uh, the, someone at that hospital had a bed for sale for 50 bucks. You got the bed, you got the... the you got the box spring, you got the blankets, you got the whole thing, including a frame that we didn't actually even use because we had one that we liked. But we bought it, we picked it up, we brought it here, and it's so nice. It's a Serta, it's a firm because it was used as a guest bed, and they just bought a queen to replace it. So it's really nice. So yeah, it's cool. And um, good to see you vlogging again, by the way, Will. And well, we'll see. You're going to keep up? I'm, I'm going to try. I'd like to do a week a week each because these weeks coming up are going to be insane. And uh, yeah, so Josh, to you, I look forward to hearing more about that house of yours. And I know that's a crazy business. Plus, I've been really, really enjoying your lab work. And I don't know when school starts. School must have started already. When school starts, we'll see. See what you got going. I, I don't know. Maybe you'll still keep practicing labs, which I'm sure you will because you're going to need to do them throughout the year anyways. Um, and maybe even some recorded classroom. I don't know. That might give the students too much of an idea to check you out online, but we'll see. Uh, besides that, uh, goodness, uh, Katrina's not really liking her job. Um, so she's, she's going to see how she feels. She's trying to get shorter hours, but they're not really giving it to her yet. So we'll see. Hopefully it's coming soon because she has no time over here to, to relax, really. It's been, she works from 8 to 7 and then then she has to work on making supplies since they don't have materials there. So she has to make all the school supplies herself, which is just a bad thing. I mean, she's she's over six months pregnant now and, and the, they don't even give the kids nap time there. So, yeah, it's rough on her. It's pretty rough. Um... I'm I'm enjoying life pretty well, uh, except for I'm not getting as much done as I'd like. Now we still have tons of boxes to go through. We have a crib now, so that's awesome. Uh, the, but the baby's room is still just full of boxes, as you can see behind me. There's another box back there, and uh, yeah, I'm really not doing any animating, and I wish I would. Um, I'm gonna one of these vlogs. I'm gonna go back through and kind of do a. It's beyond a mid here checkup but I'm gonna do a checkup to see how I'm doing on my goals I'm gonna go back and watch my last New Year's goal and see where I am I know I wanted to do three videos and I think they were specific videos so and I have one on the docket that isn't one of those three and more in my mind that I just need to get out there and they're not getting out there so I need to do that uh, yes animating was a big one and I don't know what else was I think maybe getting a job done. I got it uh yeah so and then on the way back home from the other day i i stopped by the theater thinking hey i'll see if anyone's around and apparently a few of us were thinking the same because i met taylor there and i met terry there and i met bjorn there we're all graduates from the you know ndsu school program and we uh we all kind of met there and it turns out it was open house so we <laughs> we ate, we met a lot of people and we a lot of, it was a good time Good time, and I think we were one of the last ones to leave, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, so you know, I really don't got much else. Uh, we got a family reunion coming up. Oh yeah, goodness, went to a wedding uh, again. Uh, not again, again, but last weekend went to a wedding. So congratulations to Candy and Jeremy. That's awesome. Candy's my cousin. She lives just. A ways a little ways away you know maybe like uh, I don't know 30 minutes but uh, she lives down there and um, yeah so it was cool to see them is it was, it was a lot of fun they didn't uh, it's it was more of a Midwestern family 
wedding. It seemed there's not a lot of people that really got out there. the The older family, the older members of the family, did not enjoy it. It seemed as much as uh, we did out in the the east east coast. Yeah, east coast. That we had a uh, that was crazy scene. So many on the dance floor, like just really, just really working that that wedding dance. And yeah, the the DJ tried. He even had a costume during one of the songs. He had. Uh, he had an afro, and he put on some, gosh, old 70 garb. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I wasn't planning on dancing because I got hit pretty hard with allergies. But, you know, he came over to, the DJ literally came over to me. He's like, you look like you're here to have fun. And I was like, yes, I am. And then got out there dancing. Oh, sweated the night away. But, yeah. You know, like I said, okay, family reunion is coming up. We got our anniversary coming up. It's Labor Day weekend. It's a three-day weekend. We're going to leave Friday night. We're going to spend, oh, Saturday doing our taxes in the morning, lunch with her, my in-law, the in-laws, then supper with the family reunion, and then sat Sunday morning is church, and we're coming back here to spend the anniversary here. And then Monday is probably going to be spent unpacking except for uh probably not until all of her materials are done because uh, she she